I became a mental health ambassador because mental health is really important to me. I've seen my family members injured by mental health challenges. I've seen colleagues injured by mental health challenges. And I wanted to do my best to help destigmatize and reaching out for help. The key issues in the industry, in the professional services sector, is actually resourcing. The work is coming through from transport faster than we can actually resource it. And that's putting a lot more pressure on our people. We've actually introduced a bespoke workforce planning tool to better manage and plan our resources. It allows us to look at how jobs are designed so that the allocations are visible to individuals, but also to leadership. So we can take into consideration what we need to do to avoid the burnout of staff. We've also been expanding that tool to better estimate the future pipeline of work with the percentage win rate so we can get a clearer view of our recruitment needs. Some of the outcomes that we've had from introducing that workforce planning tool, the fact you have retention, people are able to see what they've been scheduled for and they're also able to put up their hand. And so it keeps people's mental health in control, under control. It makes people want to come and work at Jacobs and want to connect with people through Jacobs. I think you need to create an environment where people feel included and they also need to be, feel empowered to actually have open and honest conversations on mental health. At Jacobs, we have regular webinars from our psychology specialists, which includes the global head of mental health, which is Paul Hendry. We've developed lots of programs that encourage people to actually check in with each other and check in with their own mental health. One Million Lives is a free um, mental health check-in. We have the ambition to reach a million people, to lead a global movement that will positively impact a million lives. It's also to enable leaders to make better informed data-driven decisions on how to improve the, the well-being of our people. So we've had something like just under 16,000 check-ins. What we found was that 50% of 18 to 25 year olds, not only in Jacobs but outside of Jacobs, um, had had suicidal thoughts. So we just funded and we just rolled out suicide prevention. Um, we had people writing to us to say, you know, this is incredible. This has actually saved my life. Leaders need to embrace a mentally healthy workplace as a core value and actually lead from the top to ensure that a culture of caring actually permeates through all levels of an organisation. I think leaders need to take action and they can start by reviewing all those valuable resources on the Safe Work New South Wales website and take the first steps to get business coaching about how to actually implement changes, but also how to take advantage of all that free training that is available for managers and staff.